Welcome back to another Family Friends segment with Casey Queen, the co-founder of Nevada Moms. And I started saying it last week, but I seriously cannot believe that kids are already going back to school. It's crazy. It, it went by so fast. It goes by so <laughs> fast. I remember being a kid, um, and, and summer just seemed to drag on, and I would almost look forward to the first day of school. Yes. Now as an adult, though, I'm like, no, I, I can know. go a few more weeks. I know. <laughs> I just, you know, I just kind of want to... It's still summer, so yes. you still kind of like want to live in those summer days. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. I know your kids are already back to school. You homeschool, they so how are. was that first day back? Yes, we started last week. It was good. It's just you know, getting back into the routine of things and just going with the flow at the yes. same time. Yes, and I think kind of like your mentality matters and getting your kids in that right mindset. So there's a couple of things that you suggest. First of all, having that calendar is so important when it yes. comes to planning those activities. Yeah, I think having a family calendar or somewhere that you can kind of call like a home base for like what your family is up to, mm -hmm. especially with fall sports going on, returning to school, maybe summer after school programs, your calendars are going to look a little crazy. So if you have somewhere that you can kind of all reference mm -hmm. to, there's not going to be surprises events and your kids will kind of have an idea of like what to expect what's going on you kind of can visually see everything right. and prep from there and that actually leads into what you do the night before I mean you don't want to be scrambling the morning of going mm -hmm. to school so you recommend really doing yes. a lot of legwork the night before yes I think that if you prep the night before your morning is gonna go so much smoother and it just takes you know an extra 15 minutes maximum and that's gonna be um, prepping the water bottles prepping what lunch supplies you can and uh, prompting um, your outfit mm -hmm. so then there's no surprises you're not arguing over what your kids are gonna wear <laughs> they already have it out and it's ready to go so anything you can prep the night before it's just gonna make your morning go so much smoother and doing that with kids too I will say I mean that those are habits that will lead them into yes. quality adulthood as well I mean I still prep the night before I have my outfit laid yes. out I pack you know my breakfast the night before I pack my lunch the night before mm -hmm. so really in the morning when I'm very sleep deprived yes. I can just get up and go yeah, so it that's just really makes helpful. everything so much smoother and like you said you're kind mm -hmm. of just teaching them how to do life by le by doing these examples right now exactly and so then we get into the morning routine and you have some really good guidelines that your kids actually practice that they know the nine o'clock deadline means yes. a bunch of things what does yes. it mean so for me my kids know by 9 a.m. they have to be dressed brush their teeth make their bed and eat breakfast okay. so I mean it's never it's not always perfect but at least they have these clear expectations of what you expect from them mm -hmm. in the morning and I kind of will give them like countdowns you guys 30 minutes until we have to be ready you know what you have to have done by then mm -hmm. so it just again it's gonna make that morning go so much smoother so then they're like well I don't know I had to brush my teeth <laughs> yes so yeah just anything that you can kind of like clearly um, mm -hmm. explain to them and then after a while again it's just a routine so they're gonna know oh I wake up in the morning I mm -hmm. make my bed I brush my teeth these are just things that you have to do to get through the day I love that okay so you have a whole bunch of like kind of essentials that you really recommend on mm -hmm. Nevada moms we actually have that website I'd love to pull up and this is a great kind of one-stop shop for some recommendations what are some of your top back-to-school essentials yeah so it's gonna vary depending on like the, your age of your child but say your child is like a younger elementary school we absolutely love the bento style lunch boxes mm -hmm. lunches are very short and so having everything that's open and go they're not worried about opening their uh, string cheese or opening their little can of fruit or anything like that everything's just open and they can quickly eat and, ex and access mm -hmm. it um, I also think about what your child's skill level is so if your child cannot tie their shoes <laughs> do not send them to shoe with to school with shoes that tie because teachers have right. so much a million things going on mm -hmm. and that just takes extra time out of their day so you know velcro shoes are great you want to label every single item you have water mm -hmm. bottles backpack backpacks sweatshirts label everything <laughs> um, they have you know a label maker you can buy some really cute ones off of Etsy nowadays mm -hmm. to make it cute so just like little things think about what their skill level is and kind of base their outfits and their accessories off of that okay see amazing stuff here this is why you need to go to envymoms.com I will have a whole bunch of links hyperlink to our website colotv.com along with this interview I've written up a quick article that will kind of give you some guidelines as to what we talked about and some of the things that we didn't get to but again envymoms.com I'm really just a one-stop shop for everything that you need to know about getting back to school yeah. so thank you Casey Queen so much for being here I appreciate it thanks for having me and thank you guys for watching we'll be right back